everybody. Hi, True. I am so excited to meet you. You're my teenage crush. Like, I'm psyched that I'm sitting in front of you right now. <laughs> I, I have loved you at first sight, but I love your book so really? much. Really? You don't understand how much that means to me. Thank you. And there's like all the detail is there. You bring us in with you. I mean, I'm at the part where you and Nick are like fully dating and it's just, I mean, I'm like, oh my <laughs> gosh, it's so romantic. You've lived oh. such an extraordinary life. I mean, it's hard to pick which facet of your life I, I, I get to talk to you about. I love the Anomaly hair care line and the whole campaign. Oh, is thank you. I'm so proud of it. It's so joyful, so sexy, so beautiful. I love the wet hair, the photography, the lighting, the setting. I just, I feel like I want to transport myself right there. And hair care is such a, you know, um, sort of feeling as well, right? When you're washing your hair in the shower, it's like, especially when you have longer hair, it's a moment, like it takes us time, you know? And it's like, it, it's an experience and it should feel personal and, you know, like a moment of having me time, I think. Um, hence the campaign being wet hair and not like perfectly blow dried curls that you usually see. That's what really spoke to me as I felt like I hadn't seen anything like this and to do something original in this world is no easy feat. Right. <laughs> so congratulations. Well said. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, 60 million followers on Instagram, biggest star in India, huge here really famous husband. It's a very big life. And I'm always fascinated to learn how people manage their busy, busy lives. So would you possibly indulge me in a breakdown in a day in Priyanka Chopra Jonas's life? I mean, if I may say, you might know this, obviously, because you've done this for um, quite a long time as well, but it's it changes with whatever job it is, right? So I can take you through like one day at the moment. Let's go through today. This is 24 hours of this moment in Priyanka's life. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's see the first one. Here we go. It's 8 a.m. Well, I hate 8 a.m. usually because I'm a, I'm a night person. I'm not a morning person, but I have to start with a coffee. And I actually may or may not have an espresso machine in my room right across my bed. So that's the first button that I press. I get up and um, do the next thing that everyone does. Check Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> I believe that's coming up next. Let's see the next timeline. 815. <laughs> Look at that little cutie. <laughs> That's my niece, Krishna. Um, but whenever she's around me, she loves checking out my phone. But you know, that's where I get my news from. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, just like everyone else. Funny story, but my movie, The White Tiger, which is out on Netflix right now, I read about the fact that it was being adapted from the book into the movie on Twitter at a time like this. And I got my agents to call um, the producers and offer my services and chase after the movie. But it happened because of this. So it's pretty useful. <laughs> I also saw that you read like Time and National Geographic, some, you know, Michelle Obama. You're very intelligent and you're right. Like the more informed you are, the more proactive of a life you're gonna have. And totally. I also do follow like baby videos and doggy videos. I was gonna say, what's and, your guilty TikTok. pleasure? TikTok is fun. I love TikTok. <laughs> For hours before I go to bed and suddenly it's like 4 a.m. and I'm like, damn. <laughs> okay, next timeline. Okay, what do we do after? Oh, 8.30. Um, yeah, I usually do uh, my days these days um, are starting with a workout because I'm training for a TV show that I'm doing for Amazon called Citadel. And this looks like Nick is getting a workout as well. Uh, well, you know, this was one of those mistakes that I made where I tried to compete with Nick. Um, it, right at the beginning of me starting to work out was during quarantine. And he was like, babe, come on, we'll do it. We'll do it together. It'll be a couples thing. And I was like okay, I'd never done that with him before. And we start working out and I'm competitive as hell. So I'm trying to keep up to like the 255th squat or something. And it ended like that. Cause I was like, I could be your weight, but I can't compare, <laughs> compare to you. This is crazy. 
Um, so then we decided not to work out together. It just didn't work out. <laughs> I love it. My daughter always comes in and gets on my back when I'm working out, and it's like she's like goat yoga, but with a human. Okay, yeah. next timeline. No, <laughs> 9 30 to 11 30. Yeah, it's usually get to work at the moment because of the book. There's a lot of book signing, or, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, Zoom calls, interviews, meetings. Um, and I'm doing multiple time zones because the book is launching in four different um, territories, which is the UK, Australia, India, US, so Canada. So because of that, it start really early in the morning because it, Australia is awake at that time. And then it goes into the UK because I'm in London here. And then it goes into um, America because, and then I stay up at night. So it's kind of insane right now. Okay, next timeline. Here we go. Noonish, one-ish. Um, that's when I do brunch usually. Uh, I try and have two meals a day, um, like two good meals a day. It keeps me feeling really energetic. Um, and then hopefully a nap, uh, a try, or at least like a rest. Even if you like take a second, lie down or read a book or just decompress with something. You know, um, I was knitting the other day. My mom started knitting. So I like started knitting with her. I made a sleeve and then left it. So I told Nick that he has a sleeve now. The rest of the sweater will take the rest of the year. Um, but you know, just something which is sort of meditation to me at least, never doesn't necessarily always mean, you know, silence and meditation in the right route. Your meditation can be whatever it is. I think it's just resting your mind from the world pulling you apart in different directions.